Welcome to today's exciting challenge where creativity meets engineering. We're diving into the world of engineering with a super fun activity called Puffmobiles, where we'll design and build our very own miniature cars. But with a twist. For this activity, our engineering constraint is that we will need to make our cars travel six feet using nothing but a puff of air. In other words, our cars will be entirely wind powered. Engineers all over the world use wind power as a way to harness the world's natural energy. Wind power can be used to generate motion, like when a boat uses sails, or it can be used to generate electricity, like with wind turbines. And in our case, it'll be used to propel our puffmobiles forward. So let's gear up and check out what materials we'll need for this project. First things first, gather these simple items. Some plastic straws, lifesaver candies, pieces of paper, a pair of scissors, and plenty of tape. Also, make sure that you have a smooth surface, which is at least six feet long. This is where we'll test our puffmobiles. It can be on the ground or on a tabletop. And remember, it's not just about speed. It's about how far your car can go with a single breath. Now, let's get to building our puffmobiles. Any ideas? I was thinking maybe like an umbrella. I think we should, I'm gonna start with the base and then okay. I'll figure out the sails later. Actually, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, let's talk about the engineering design process. It's a series of steps that engineers use to solve problems and create amazing things. Exactly. We start with asking what we want to achieve. In our case, it's a car that moves as far as possible with one puff of air. Then we imagine and plan our design, think out your ideas, and consider how you can make your car aerodynamic. So I'm going for a umbrella shape, sort of. So maybe I can make a cone, but flatter. Mm -hmm. This might be a stretch, but what if you did a di diagonal, diagonal yep, to, like, to keep it, keep from, it thank right? You oh, this works out so well, because I put it inside out. Oh. That's so smart of me. <laughs> Aerodynamics is all about how objects move through the air. Some designs will allow your car to go faster, and some designs will slow it down. So be sure to think about how you can try to reduce the drag from the air moving past your car. Maybe you can try to make it as small and light as possible, or you can try to make its front smooth and rounded. That way, it'll be better at cutting through the air. Yeah, no, it's definitely like Maybe this. Like, okay. Or like this? Yes. That's a much better Ooh, thing. Like punch a, punch a hole. After we've planned our designs, the next step is to create our puffmobiles, and then we'll test them out. Don't worry if it doesn't work the first time. That's all part of the process. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's the first try. It is. So what do you think about your puffmobile? I think this is a great time to test it out and see how far yeah. it can go. Okay, let's, let's go and try and test it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, I think the design definitely worked, yes. and it also depends on um, where you're blowing from mm -hmm. and also how stable the straws are. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. that's okay, so okay, good. Okay, okay. Finally, we'll improve our designs. Tweak and adjust until you've got a car that sails smoothly and swiftly. Okay, I think we're good here. Yeah, I feel like something that I can also improve on is mm -hmm. having the umbrella lower. I think I oh, also so might longer. make this top part a little bit smaller. I think I want to reduce the amount of materials that I used. I used a lot of straws and it definitely added weight. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to try and make this even shorter. Oh, yeah. Will it still, I think it'll still fit. Already, I think it's gone yeah, a, lot a lot better, faster, yeah. right? I think this has been a huge improvement, yep. and it's a lot more balanced, a mm -hmm. lot less weight. Ooh. Okay, you might have something here. Mm -hmm. Let's test it out. Yep. Hey, let's test these out and see if these do any better. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and there you have it. We use the engineering design process to create fantastic puffmobiles. That was a really fun activity. So let's recap. 
We started by thinking of our designs and then trying to implement our first attempts. And then I think after we tested and improved on that design, we came to our second mm -hmm. prototype, which I feel like it went a lot a better. Lot better. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they went so much faster and mm -hmm. were more efficient and light. So I learned that by making my mobile lighter and having less materials that it would be able to travel faster. And I learned that making it more um, compact and smaller helped it move much faster when it needed um, to grab more weight. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Remember, there's no limit to your imagination. Thanks for joining us. Now get out there and build your Puffmobile. <laughs> 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 so we turned to me. Okay.